I want to begin by challenging you to, to think about something in terms of who you are as a human being. It's, 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 if you've grown up in the church, you've grown up understanding that God is a triune God. We've, we've heard triune. We've heard that word, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We've heard those three titles for God uh, spoken together as the nature of God. There's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, but one God. Well, it's interesting because, you know, the Bible teaches us that we're created in God's image. And part of that is that we are triune beings as well. I want you to think about this. You are a spiritual being. This is why we can have relationship with God, because God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth, Jesus said in uh, John chapter 4. And so as spirit being, God's, God created us as spirit being so that we can relate with God. But we have a soul. The Bible says a lot about that. And we live in a body. Now what's interesting is that the body was created to be the, the, the servant for the spirit and the soul, but at the fall, that got flip-flopped, and all of a sudden, our flesh took over, and all of a sudden, we're just a big bundle of cravings, and all we think about is our flesh. But the Christian life is all about flipping that back over and feeding our spirit in our soul and growing up in a relationship with God as we make our bodies a living sacrifice to Him. Paul says this in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. He says... Uh, may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through, from the, you know, the tip of your head to the soles of your feet. Uh, may your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. 